Hello everyone, when it comes to this month's Spotlight cards, you can really see the benefits of that last month where they had a lot of weak cards. This month is filled with lots of strong cards and makes every month an interesting decision point. For this first week at Red Hulk, I think these cards are particularly good, especially if you're missing all three, but you really want to want Red Hulk to really invest in this particular month. Second month, second week, this is carried by Jeff. Jeff is still very good, very strong. If you want to pick up Jeff, this is definitely one of the ways to do it. Third one, once again, carried by High Evil. If you really want High Evil, this is one to really go for. And I would say if you're if you're missing both Jeff and High Evil, I would lean High Evil over Jeff, even though they're both very, very good. Uh, fourth month, I think we have an S tier here where White Widow and Nico are super premium. I'm a big fan of White Widow. I think it's going to be the most engaging card for me, at least this month. So if you're missing these, pick them up. And then I think we have our first double S tier in a month. I think also Blob, Null, Valentino is a very, very strong combo. Blob and Null are also very premium cards to pick up, very played. And Valentino, I think, also very good in the metagame. So very strong cards. We'll talk about them in detail. Let's get started. I don't know. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. You know the drill. This is the April Spotlight season tier review or tier list. So we're going to be going over the cards in April. I will say that this month is filled with lots of good cards and it might make the decisions a little bit harder, but hopefully we'll be able to navigate it together. So let's get started. Whee. All right, take three. So welcome back. We have the April 2024 Spotlight tier list. The standard list is the same ratings as from S to D. Uh, basically recommend anything B plus. C is also okay. Especially now these days, people have a larger collection of cards. So if you do just like a particular card or especially a new card, usually that's usually going to be a case where you just have that new card. If you want the new card, get the new card, right? Don't let this really stop you. But it, this is generally for people who are missing like multiple cards. What are you really looking for um, in that in that case of cards? So let's get started. So first off, we have the small light coming out today. Actually, we have Red Hulk Echo Sebastian Shaw. So Red Hulk is a pretty big card. Lots of power. It is the it does scale based on what your opponent does. And another thing that might not be so clear until they reveal the video is that it, your opponent does see when you get the power increase. So that can be, I would say like that's, maybe it's not a nerf, right? Because it's probably designed that way, but that does make it less valuable in that your opponent has oh he has a 615 in his hand that kind of thing or a 619 in his hand now i do think players just play regardless like that might not stop someone from from leaving or anything like that but it is to be noted that that is something you have to be aware of when you're playing this card right so a lot of people are like oh this is crazy i do think people's opinions have toned down a little bit since that but i still think it's a good card it has good potential um i didn't think it was crazy even without cheering in your hand so uh, you know my opinion hasn't really changed too much but yeah uh, overall that is that card it's next to echo and sebastian shaw Echo is one of these weird cards. It is a series four. And it's one of those cards, like if you do play, you notice that people like forget it's a card and you they play their ongoings. So I, I play my ongoings into Echo, you know, which is a little bit weird. But um, it is it is it does have its use cases. One of the meta is pretty ongoing centric and you don't want to play and chances things like that. So it, it's not a bad card, just not super popular. So I don't value it pretty highly in these small lights. And Sebastian Shaw is actually somewhat popular and it does have places in uh, Surfer mainly, but there are other decks I have seen use it. But mostly it's mostly Surfer that's really utilizing it. So if you are a Surfer player, then Sebastian Shaw could be something you want to pick up. So it is valuable in that case. But generally this is the tier list if you're missing all three. Um I will say compared to last month, this month is is 
significantly better weighted, better stacked. Something they've done all for all the weeks is that they have the Series 5 card next to another Series 5 and a Series 4. So they're all one Series 5, one Series 4 next to a new card. So I think that's... And then a lot of good cards next in there. So this tends to be a higher um, potential month compared to the last month, which felt like a, they were trying to use up all of their you know, not really popular cards in one particular month so that the, the next month and the months coming after, they can just give you good things after good things. And that seems to be working uh, here. So this is the first particular week. Next week, we do have US Agent, Mirage, and Jeff. So overall, I would say this week is carried by Jeff. If you don't have Jeff, you can you should you should consider getting Jeff. Jeff is very good, still very strong. There are adding more two jobs that can find a place like Valentina could be something you could use instead of Jeff. So there are new options, but Jeff has been strong and consistent and good for so long that I'm not really um, worried about Jeff losing the place in the meta. It, it just might lose like market share or something like that. But still, it is the reason you would really go for this particular week. Just Jeff is just very strong. And then Mirage, I'm not a big fan of Mirage still. I do respect it more, but I just think nowadays there's there's so many two drop options that you can play. The Mirage isn't super necessary. And even in Loki where Mirage is like has the best place, so Valentina is coming out, and I think Valentina kind of like takes that takes that Mirage spot. So I'm I'm not high on Mirage still, never really have been. I have respected the card, but it always felt like you could play Sentinel to me. And then US Agent, I think it's a pretty good card personally. I think if you're playing, like I, I think of this as a tech card, especially like Server Control. If your opponent's playing a lot of fours or fives in one lane, you can just hunt it down. Also completely destroys Tribunal if people are playing into that. So there's definitely some potential in it. You hit two, it's a two nine. That's really nice. Kind of like a goose though with a better base body so kind of like this card the goose goose effect like completely shuts down to like four five six where this one just uh heavily incentivized not to do it so still think it's a good card but definitely the winner or the strongest appeal of this particular week is the jeff so kind of the ratings are reflective of that next up we have red guardian so red guardian is you know, is decent, honestly. I think it can be a really good card, though I do think it's meta reliance. So if people are playing like Dracula, Zabu, that kind of stuff, maybe you can even hit Hope Summers if you are, you know, in the right scenarios. Like there's definitely some really good appeals for this to be a pretty good card, but its base stats isn't super high. 3 3 is, you know, is okay, but the tech aspect of it does seem pretty useful. So I am. Hopeful of this card, but once again, this week is being carried by High Evil. If you don't have High Evil, you really want High Evil. Honestly, the first tier could be S because High Evil is like that important. So if you are missing High Evil, I'd strongly recommend considering this week. I just think this month has a ton of like good options, so I wouldn't be like super sad if you're like, oh, I want a different option here. But High Evil is a very important card. A lot of good decks come out of it, so I would. Wouldn't be surprised if you want to pick that up. And Lady Deathstrike, some people play it in Destroy, but it's not needed in Destroy. And it's not really being played in other archetypes, honestly. So I'm not super big on Lady Deathstrike. So if you want it, you can. But it's still a Series 4, not super, super popular. I wouldn't go out of your way for it. And then Red Guardians, decent. If you want it, you can try it. But not. I don't think it's the best card of this month in my opinion, but it could be useful. And tech cards always usually find decks that can do well, especially server control and things like that. So maybe Red Guardian can fit that kind of niche. And then next up, we have the my favorite card of the month. We have White Widow. I think this card is really good, but this is definitely my type of card. So I'm I'm biased here, but if, you, if you're okay with me being biased, I think White Widow is the strongest card of the month. Uh, generally, for at least my playstyle, so uh, I'm excited to try that. But I do think this is a really good month, particularly White Widow and Nico Minora. I think are very, very strong cards. So Nico is just one of the is the one cause Jeff. That's yes, I think that's a good way of saying it. It's the one cause version of Jeff where it's in everything. Very good, 
reliable card. Even the downsides are pretty low. It can be a 1-4 very easily, and it can also be even better than that, draw you two cards, give you copies of core cards. It's just like a very, very good card that doesn't have that many downsides to it. So big fan of it. And then Snow Guard is also pretty decent. Like, I don't think the card is bad. If you're playing low-key, Snow Guard is like one of the core ways of getting multiple cards in your hand to set up for low-key or like turn five low-key, Snow Guard into low-key. Turn five is also very, very good. So, and then also it's good into magic things like that. So it has other uses besides just being a snow guard or a low-key piece. So I think it's a pretty solid card to pick up for the show. So I really like this particular week. It just has a lot of good options and the variants are also pretty good. So if you're missing some cards or you have some cards, you can still pick it up, get some nice Nico Minora variant. Minoru, someone's going to be mad about that and, and, and keep going from there. So uh, I like this week. Like this is this is one of the weeks to look out for. And then the next one is also another S tier. So this is the first, I think it's the first month I've had double S tier. I think I might be wrong, but I can't really remember having multiple S tiers in a particular month. But you can see like the benefit of putting all their bad cards in one month. Then they can just like here have some hard decisions to make, which is very intentional, I bet. But here I also think this one is particularly very good as well. Blob and Null are both very uh, premium cards. I will say Null is Series 4, so that does make it a little bit worse. That's why it's uh, B tier if you, if you don't have the Blob compared to Blob being A tier. But I still think Null is one of the best cards to have. Very popular. Destroy loves it. And you can usually find decks that can take advantage of Null. So definitely a card you want in your in your arsenal, you know. So I'm pretty pretty down for it. And I also think Valentina is also a very good card to pick up. I think it just has... It being a 2-3 makes it a lot better for me when it was a 2-2. Two, two. So as a 2-2, two, two, you have this downside, in my opinion, compared to like Jeff or anything else. Where you play this card and you hope that the... Uh, the f six drop is good. And if you don't, if the six drop is not good, you have a two, two, right? You just play a two, two on two. It doesn't, it doesn't give you zombie value or anything. As a two, three, like you play it, it's not that bad. Even if you can't play your six cost card, it's a two, three, it's fine. You play a Jeff, like whatever. It's not the end of the world. So I think it is significantly better as a two, three. Um, and it just has some good some good flow states with Quinja and stuff like that. And it's just good and low key. So just it generally seems solid to me. So I also think it's a pretty good week for this. So it makes this particular month pretty hard in my opinion, because there's just a lot of like decent options. If you don't have, like, let's say you're missing all the cards, right? You want Jeff, you want high evil. I think high evil is probably more important to Jeff. To be fair, so I'd probably lean high evil if you're missing both and you're like, Ooh, which one did I pick? I'd probably lean high evil. But then you also have these two weeks, which are really important cards. I, I would say if you're missing tons of cards this month and you're like, Ooh, which one should I go? Just the tried and true method is what deck will you play? Will you play a deck with White Widow? Will you play a deck with Nico? Will you play a deck with Jeff? Will you, you know, like what decks are you willing to play? Are you, do you want to play Destroy, but you don't have no? Like that is a reason to go for this week over the all the others because you will actually play this card so uh, even though there's a lot of options this is a good month for getting new cards and, and not feeling bad about using your resources but you know if you have to pick and choose just pick the ones that you're going to play and that's my overall thoughts on that particular uh, set of weeks so pretty good week what do you what do you guys think do you guys have any particular favorites do you disagree White Widow is the only card I have where itself is B tier. Because usually if a card is by itself, it's like C or D. But I, I'm, I think White Widow is like good enough that if, if, if you just want White Widow, it's probably good enough to pick up by itself. you know. Because that's definitely what I'm going to do. Usually I have, to, I have to convince myself to pick up a card if it's by itself. But I feel like with this card, I don't. And that's pretty unique for me. So decided to bump it up a tier for that so um, that's overall my thoughts on the april season 
Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and have a wonderful rest of your day. Like, really, though, like, take care of yourselves for real. Like, don't just, I say this every time, but like, you can, you know, eat well, you know, pick, go outside, walk around, things like that. You know, kick, don't kick anyone. You know, there's, there's no follow up to that statement, that start that sounds healthy for you. So, you know. Kick a soccer ball. There we go. I found it. But yeah, anyways, that's all I got. And I'll see you in the next one. Educated calling the snap. Once you watch him, you won't go back. He'll teach you tomorrow, snap. Your skills.